It's the opening round of the NFL playoffs, and EA Sports continues its coverage of Super Wild Card Weekend. It's the Jags and the Browns, and it comes your way next. It's the NFL Playoffs on EA Sports, and we're a wintry first energy stadium in Cleveland. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cleveland Browns. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. Intensity level will be off the charts. outside the goal line and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 so here come the Browns for their first drive on offense and they'll be led out by a man who needs no introduction one of the most exciting players in all the sports now in his sixth season out of Texas A&M Patrick Mahomes and he was absolutely sensational throwing the football all year long better than 40 touchdown passes that means he made good decisions and his team trusted him with the ball. So I can't imagine a scenario in this game where they changed their philosophy. If they trusted him in the regular season, they're going to trust him now and let him turn it loose. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. T.J. Edwards, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. So much for coming out throwing as it leads to an early second down and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes got a man. It's Patterson complete. Only able to gain a couple there. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he finds Howard complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he'll be held down at about the 30-yard line. They clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. And I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. 
On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. On second down, a run with Patterson. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Mahomes now to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Every possession in the postseason magnified, and look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit, so every point is precious. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. Let's face it, it doesn't matter if you're a rookie free agent or a 15-year vet. Guiding a team to victory on the road in the playoffs, that's no small feat. And it's going to be really important for him to play mistake-free football. But equally important, create some big plays as well to give his team confidence that they can win. On first and ten, Smith. That's complete to Troutman right side. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. The Smiths throw into the hands of Lockett. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. A nice grab there for a guy coming off a terrific season, one that saw him have over 100 catches. And when you have that many catches, that means you're a full part of the offense. And let's face it, he's been as good as anyone in the NFL this year. So figures he's going to play a big role in advance in the playoffs. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 46. Out of the gun, Smith. Returning right back to Lockett. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. I like that one, partner. They go back to back with excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right back to him again. They haven't shown the propensity to be able to stop him. Now Gino on first down. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Inside handoff to Nixon. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Play fake, and it's Smith. And he's got it. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Now Gino. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Gabriel Davis, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. 
Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And you know, Charles, it's been a terrific season for them. They couldn't quite get that number one seed and the associated buy that goes with it, but and nevertheless, they've got to be one of the favorites here to win it all. They do because of the season that they've had, the position that they're in, and we know under the old playoff system, they would have this game off. This weekend would not be one that they would play, but nevertheless, maybe it's a good thing. Sometimes you carry that momentum from the season all the way through the playoffs. If you get that open week, sometimes you lose it a little bit. So I think that's what's going to be their mindset. They'll run with Patterson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Obviously, an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation, pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. First down, Mahomes. He finds the speedster, Ross. That's complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. First and 10, it's Patterson. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Mahomes to throw. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Third down, here's Patterson. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. On first down, going back to Patterson. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. On second and nine, Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-3, the score on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Jags will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. I think this will run away very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Out is their quarterback with his offense to take over once more. He hit on all six of his passes on that opening drive, including the final throw for a touchdown as his guys start here first and ten. After the interception, here's Smith. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Smith now to throw. Completes it to Davis. Two yards, good enough for a first. Smith. Right back to Davis. It's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. Off of play action. Here's Smith. And he finds a man in the crossing route. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 32-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 32-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 24. Step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space. All you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. On first down, Smith. Dumps it off to Mixon. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. To throw again on second down. Smith. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Chuck Clark from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. He had some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. Did march to the end zone the last time out. Tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Throwing now is Geno. It's caught. Smith. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Prater's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Browns set to take over. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Patterson on the draw. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Back deep, the former All-Pro Tyler Lockett. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
This is taken at the 15. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And last time they were able to churn some clock, they got the field goal, added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but and we wasn't. know that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. Cleveland offense making their way out. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Patterson, he'll try it up the middle. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. They'll go again with Patterson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Mahomes, he finds Hopkins complete. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. The kick by Lutz is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half, as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. It's caught. Block it. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. 
Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Smith on first down. Throwing quickly for Mark Andrews. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Throwing again on second down. Smith. He hits his target. Lockett. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tyler Lockett. 37 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Round six. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. They had no return here for Reed. This will be a touchback. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. To throw once more on second and 10, Mahomes, and that'll be incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Running the counter, Patterson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Patterson on the draw play. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. Looking to throw is Mahomes as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And he goes out right around the 39. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Here's Jake Camarda now. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And the Jags going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. On first and 10, Smith. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Geno now to throw. And bringing it in, it's Davis. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, it's Smith. Looking for Lockett, and he's got him working his way free across the middle. A big play there just before halftime. 56 yards. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Smith throwing again. 
Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Mark Andrews as the first half is winding down. And the Jags continue to pull the playoff surprise as they lead big here on the road. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Prater for the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. A four-play drive spanning 80 yards. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Browns drive about to get started. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now whistles at a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. But first, let's remind everyone what we've got coming up in tomorrow's action in the AFC. We've got a good one on tap as it'll be the Buffalo Bills squaring off against the Tennessee Titans. We continue on with the check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Jags, for the Seahawks. And they had success all season throwing the football. No reason for that to change in the playoffs as they've continued to move the ball well through the air. Meanwhile, for the Browns, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone and tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Tyler Lockett trotting onto the field, getting set for this next drive. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Mixon with a first down carry. Jeremy Chin there defensively. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Out of the gun, Smith. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. It's Mixon on the counter. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 56 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one as he just did there. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. 
to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Gino. Looking middle, and that's complete. That's good for a gain of six. Second and goal. Nixon will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Crater on and the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So this drive spans seven plays, and it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Joe Reed going to return it from his end zone. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers to send each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Well, C.D., that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They are certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Mahomes. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. The kick by Lutz is good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Jaguars offense ready to set up shop here again. They're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And, I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. 
You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Straight ahead, Patterson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Patterson again. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Now hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And the deficit will hold at 22. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. On second and 10, Smith. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Throwing is Smith. That's complete to Troutman right side. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Only needing two yards on second down. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, Smith. This complete to Lockett. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Mix it up the middle. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken out of the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Throwing now is Gino. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around, and we know they'll be here before you know it. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Play action, it's Smith. And his pass incomplete. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Smith. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Gabriel Davis 
His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Look, we all know that sometimes we see upsets in the wild card round. But I have to tell you, in this case, I did not see that coming. I don't think anyone in the stadium <laughs> saw it coming. You and I were coming in before the game. There was a couple in front of us talking about travel plans for next weekend. They might want to cancel those. Yeah, I would say so, because right now it's looking more and more like they're going to be one and done. They're probably trying to call the hotel, make sure they get their security deposit back. Extra point good by Prater, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Well, the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in the league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And this defense going to bring out a couple extra DBs here on third and a yard. Mahomes now to throw. He's going deep for Brown. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. They'll go, it's Patterson. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He finds Hopkins complete. Second down at four. Mahomes gonna throw. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he fires one, but incomplete. They'll try and run for it with Janovich. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop at a yard shot. He needed two. He only got one. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. One yard They'll fake it. Now Smith. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Smith. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he'll be out of bounds. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. They'll give it to Mixon. And he'll take this into the end zone. And touchdown, Jacksonville. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jaguars have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, 
You can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and 10. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Mahomes to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead. And now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up. And he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first steps just because they can. Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. But oh, pardon me, the defense isn't going to adjust, and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over. They're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. So first and ten now from the 30. Again, it's Mixon. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. From the gun, a give to Mixon. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Throwing on third down, Smith. get rid of it. And the Jaguars send out their punter. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Here comes Reed. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now Mahomes. He's got Patterson on the out route. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got him in, it's Brown. Touchdown, Browns! A.J. Brown, 37 yards. And the Browns get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. 
And he's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. They made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Smith. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. to Mixon on second down. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. We'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, Mixon. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go, and that will extend their lead even further. And losing in this wild card round, you know, they've got something to build on, though, for next year, but I don't know if they want to hear that right now. Maybe not at the moment, but once they get away from it a little bit and they get to their off-season program, and they'll start to talk about that. And I like how you framed it, building blocks, you know, building this program up. And one of my favorite coaches always talks about brick by brick, you build a program. And this is one of those bricks to build them towards the next season where they think they have a chance to advance farther in the playoffs.